Welcome to the Moms for Wellness podcast on SM Enlightenment Radio or TV. This is a podcast for moms who are passionate about being healthy and leading their kids to do the same. Welcome back to the podcast, Mama. Well, I don't know about you, but I am pumped up today, especially with that music. It just gets me going. I love it. Um, So this is exciting. You are not going to want to miss today. So you know when you hear an idea and you're like, man, why didn't I think of that before? That's brilliant. Well, we have 10 of those moments to share with you today, okay? So these are the top 10 mom hacks that I think every mom should know. It will make your life so much easier, okay? So let's get started. Number one. All right, so I'm going out of the gates here with a controversial one um, because I thought this was the greatest mom hack, and then I found out that actually it's probably not very good for your health. (laughs) So I'm guessing that if you know of this, maybe you don't know that it's not very good for you because I learned this very recently and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is brilliant. So number one, all right, so we eat a lot of avocados in our house and they're just a staple in a lot of recipes and different meals that I make. And so if you've been listening to my podcast at any length of time now, you know that I like to only grocery shop like once, maybe twice a month. And so, and obviously you stop, you know, you pick up more fruits and vegetables and stuff, but mainly I try to get all the main things. So avocados, you can get them where they're, you know, not as ripe and then they ripen for, you know, try to time it. Like there's that whole thing. I'm not going into how you pick them. That's not what this one is about. But um, the problem is, is that, um, oh, but if you did want to know about meal planning, like we do have an episode on that. I'll, I'll put a link in, in the show notes so you can learn about that. But anyway, so I I need my food to stay good until we use it, right? And so I know know this flies in the face of like life in Europe or other places where you pick up your food, fresh food um, from the market on your way home from work every day. That would be ideal. I would love that. But I have to, I have to be able to cater between having those as fresh meals as possible and healthy meals combined with the actual life schedule that we have when you have three kids in sports and life and all the things, right? So the just the reality of dealing with that. So anyway, back to the avocados. We love our avocados and we make guacamole a lot too. And so we like to slice it up, put it on various meals, like in our quinoa bowls and our quinoa bake and just, you know, all kinds of different things. So of course we try to buy, you know, I like I was saying, I would try to buy them like harder, softer, depending on when we're going to need them. So you can imagine that there's too many times and not that I would like to admit that we have avocados go bad and then we have to throw them out and we can't use them. So insert my mom hack for avocado keeping that is uh, being debunked. So if you are doing this, stop doing this. But so there was this thing about putting the avocados in water and then um, putting them in your fridge and it keeps them it keeps them just that same. It keeps them perfectly fine um, for like seven days, maybe even longer, okay? But there was an issue, a warning issued from the FDA. And so I'm going to quote it. I'm going to read it to you. This is the quote from the FDA. The FDA Quote, the FDA does not recommend this practice. The main concern is with the possibility that any residual human pathogens that may be residing on the avocado surface may potentially multiply during the storage when submerged in water, end quote, an FDA spokesman said in a statement. Okay, so 
I'm not sure that this is really the best option. I will say that May, 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 it's like in, I don't know, I was reading um, a study that said like 17% of 1,600 avocados had this listeria or whatever it is. So, um, so starting out with a controversial one. So take that as you, I thought it was a great mom hack, but then like, here's the warning. So either way, like if you have been doing that, then you might want to reconsider um, because the water can actually help multiply the germs. So what I will share that I do stand behind about once you cut open the avocado, how do you keep it fresh? Or when you make um, guacamole and like you're going to a party or you make it a little bit earlier before dinner and um, you want to keep it fresh. Use either lemon or lime juice. When I make guac, I just take a lime and just like just drizzle, like just put tons of lime juice over the top of the guac and then take um, a, a plastic wrap and just and put it right on the guacamole so it there's no air there um you can use a plastic wrap on the avocado or a better um better way is to use um beeswax and um, put it over and seal it tightly so that's an avocado hack to definitely stand by let me know what you think about the whole water thing and if you've been doing that if you have any issues with it if you knew about the warning or not I'm kind of curious if you if you knew about that warning because I feel like it blew up with the sharing about putting in water and then not so much information about oh it's probably not a good idea so start now with a controversial one that was all just number one of our 10 mom hacks okay next one number two kitchen scissors did you know there's such a thing as kitchen scissors I mean, wow. Like, so when I heard about this, like, it was, like, mind-blowing. I didn't even know that we had kitchen scissors in there. Like, what the heck do you use them for? So they will become your new best friend. So you can use them to cut your kid's food. I know. Like, did you know? So, like, if you have little ones and stuff, just take out your scissors, cut up everything. And then one of the main things I use them now because my kids don't need me to cut up their food like that anymore. But I use them to cut pizza. So it's very convenient, especially when you don't have a hard surface to be able to use the pizza cutter on. Um, using the pizza cutters uh, or the scissors for your pizza is a great way. Just make sure the pizza cools down a little bit so you don't burn your fingers, okay? So kitchen scissors, your new best friend. That's mom hack number two. Mom hack number three um, is to do with laundry. So this one and the next one both have to do with laundry. So... Um, it is use a lingerie bag to put the socks in, especially when you're like with babies, baby socks, all those little socks, put them in there, wash them in that, and then take that whole bag and put it in the dryer. And that way you're not losing the socks or not getting all over the place or not getting lost inside like the sheets that you have in there or whatever. So, um, so that's a really great hack. Uh, number four also has to do with laundry and this is, um, a hack slash a good, uh, thing to switch what you're doing. But if you are using dryer sheets, please stop, stop it. Just stop. Don't, don't use them. Don't use dryer sheets. Like I'm not going to go into all that because that's not the focus of this, but they're really, really, really bad for you. Don't do it. All kinds of chemicals, all kinds of bad stuff in there. So you don't want it. So the mom hack is, is to use, there's balls that are made of wool and then you can put those in um, your dryer with your clothes. You can put essential oils on them and help your clothes smell good. So that's a great thing to do. Swap out those dryer sheets. Okay. So that's mom hack number four. All right. Number five, mom hack number five is a storage hack. So, you know those um, hanging shoe racks that like are plastic or like some sort of material, whatever, and you hang them over the back of a door, right? All right, so get one of those and hang it over the back of the door like in your bathroom or in some common area, like in if you have a laundry room, hang it there and use it to put all your hats, winter hats, gloves, scarves, uh, sunglasses, all of those things. Your kids can all have their own pockets in there. You can do them color coded. You can do it however you want to. But like that was genius for us. Like when someone told me about that, that was just so 
amazing such a great way to organize we actually have another one um, that actually has shoes in it um, instead of just having them all piled up in a in a bin which we still have shoes in a bin so we have both but that just makes it so much easier keeps them cleaner keeps it so much easier to see so being able to use that and another one this is a, a three for all inside number five is you can take those uh, shoe racks and cut it in half and then you can tie it to the back of your car seat and then your kid you can put things in it for your kid to have on a trip so when you're driving in the car so that can um, just be a storage area for whatever stuff crayons markers like whatever stuff that you would need in the car snacks the whole thing so lots of use out of the um, hanging shoe racks okay so that's number five all right, number six. This one's pretty cool. So put a laundry basket in your kid's closet and as they outgrow clothes, then put it in, fold it, put it in the basket and then it's ready. Then the, you know, as it gets full, then take it and then donate it or um, give it, pass it on to a friend or whoever you um, give your hand-me-downs to. That way it's, it's just so much easier that you don't have to go through things. You just are getting rid of things um, as you outgrow them. So I think that's very clever. Of course, if you have the space to do that, but if you do, I think that's a really great mom hack. All right, so that's number six. All right, we are flying. This is gonna be shorty but goody here. So number seven. Okay, uh, these next two are if you have littles, okay? Um, the first one is number seven is take Play-Doh with you when you go on a flight. And then um, you can open the tray table and you can put the Play-Doh on it. They can play with it, do their thing. And then at the end of the flight, then you can just throw it away. So that's a really handy thing to be able to do. I think that's just genius. If you're traveling with littles, that's um, a really great one if you haven't tried that one already. And then the next one is also for littles or if you have anyone that that is very sensitive to um, when you go and use a public restroom, um, the, the flushing, it can be very loud and very scary and it can be very sudden, especially if your little kid is using the toilet. And so take a post-it note and put it over the sensor on the toilet and that way it won't flush while your kid is using the toilet. So that one's genius, that one's genius. Okay, so that was number eight using post-it notes. All right, number nine, you're going to thank me for this one. And if you haven't done this yet, well, I guess it depends on what age your kids are. But if you haven't done it yet and your kids are older-ish, do it. Uh, but it is teach your kids to make their lunches and do their own laundry. It's a great mom hack. Great mom hack. They can do it. Like I would be curious to know at what like for those of <laughs> it'd be interesting like if you if your kids make your lunches or if you do, um and at what age you had your kids start making their lunches. I'd be kind of curious about that and doing their laundry. And I know people are all over the map on this, um so it'd be kind of interesting to see where you are, but. It's definitely a great mom hack because then you don't have to do it. But I know there's some moms that are like, I love making their lunches. If that's you, then hey, you know what? Then if you're happy with doing it, that's great. But I'm of the mindset, teach my kids to do it. Teach Amanda Fish, you they can, they can eat for a lifetime. So teach them to make their lunch. They can make their lunch forever. It's a beautiful skill for them to be, have, be able to have. Do their laundry, sort it, separate it, the whole thing. All right, so that was number nine. And then our last one, number 10, goes back into the kitchen. It's a food hack. And again, like kind of starting and ending on a similar note as far as like getting fresh foods and then having it go bad, right? So um, this one is about your herbs, like getting fresh herbs like cilantro or parsley or thyme or whatever herbs that you get. And the problem is that you either don't use it all or you just needed a little bit of it. And too many times, I know, have to throw it out because it goes bad. And I just, I hate that. It's so frustrating. So here's the hack, all right? Cut them up or 
cut them to however you would use them in the future and put them in so you know the plastic freezer trays i know no one probably like actually uses them anymore but they're still around they still exist um so get one of the the silicon ones are great the silicon uh freezer trays okay and then put like two teaspoons of herbs in each of the little cubes and then pour either water or olive oil over it, okay? And it depends on what you're gonna be using them for as to whether or not you want to use oil or water, it's up to you. But then put them in the freezer, so that's it, and just put them in the freezer and freeze them. And then once they're frozen, just pop them out, pop all the cubes out, put them in as a black baggie, keep them in the freezer, and then when you need to add it to your soup or your stew or whatever recipe that you need it for, voila, it's there brilliant. So that is a great one. If you're not doing that yet, I highly recommend starting to do that. And then that helps you be able to cook with fresh herbs. And then you're more inclined to actually use fresh herbs because um, then you can use, you can make sure that they don't go bad and that you're using all of it. Okay. So those are my top 10 mom hacks that every mom needs to know. So I want to know what your favorite mom hacks are. So share with me on Instagram at Jenny Hardy. And of course, share this episode with a mom friend who can use these hacks too. That's a wrap. Thanks for joining me on SM Enlightenment Radio or TV or joining me on the Moms for Wellness podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to the Moms for Wellness podcast and leave a five-star rating or review. It really is helpful and we would be so grateful. I'm Jenny. Have a good one.